Oh, wait, grab our book, Unschool Discoveries. It's available now. Unschooldiscoveries.com. Go ahead. Go get your copy. Don't wait. Hey, explorers. This is part two of our Minecraft week, and we're diving into scandalous research about the pixelated world of Minecraft's diverse biomes and terrifying mobs that inhabit them. This episode is all about uncovering the facts. We're discovering fascinating insights into these virtual Minecraft ecosystems, discovering quirks and features of different mobs, and uncovering tips and tricks that even pro players might not know. Whether you're a Minecraft newbie or pro at crafting, there's always something new to learn. So pick up your pickaxe and let's start digging into the rich creative worlds of Minecraft together. This is Minecraft Explored. Biomes, mobs, and more. Part 2. When did we go into this ice biome? In, in Minecraft. Okay. And also, I have now been at two biomes. You have? But if we haven't been in the ice biome all together, then I have I only have been in a frog biome. Okay. A frog? Biome. You mean a swamp biome? Yeah, and it's okay. like a biome with ten grasses. Ten grasses? Ten grasses. Oh, okay. The color tan. Tan, T-A-N, tan. Got you. These, and the swamp biome has like green stuff on the ground. You mean leaves? No, but it's like leaves. So what are the green stuff on the tree branches that's not leaves? What is it, mm -hmm. Ivy? Yeah. What is it? What is what? The green stuff on the tree branches that's not leaves. Vines? Vines? Are you talking about vines, Oliver? Yeah, but if it... I'm pretty sure if it's vines, it's like a forest biome. Or, or vines coming from the, from the leaves. Okay, so back to the episode? Yes. Of Minecraft. Minecraft. Why would there be a bear? Well, Do bears even live in Texas? Bro, I don't know. <laughs> Somebody look that up. No. Do bears even live in Texas? Well, bears are in forests. Let me look that up. And Texas has a forest. Yeah. Mommy, how did you and Daddy see a jaguar? Last time. We saw cheetahs. What? I never seen a jaguar. Yes, you have. A jaguar is a black tiger. Yeah. That is black panther. Yes. They're actually all of the genus Pantheris, right? Is Pantheris or Panthera? Panthera. Panthera. They're all of the genus Panthera. All the big cats. The black bear. We also is... did an episode about that. Wait, wait. The black bear is a protected and rare species in the state of Texas. So yes, uh, bears do apparently live in Texas, but they live in a very, very, very small little areas. They live in little pockets around the place. East like, Texas, West Texas, North Texas, South Texas. So most of the places where the bears have been like sighted are like near the coastline or close to other states. That's not the coastline. Oh. That's the border of Mexico. So, so most of them are next to Mexico. The that's border southwest. Of Mexico. That's southwest. Most of them are in the southwest. The, the coastline is southeast oh. over there. So east is to your right and west Mommy, is to your left. Where do we live? We've been looking at a map. Mommy, where we do we live? live? Grandview. No, what? What continent do we live on? 
there? North America. Okay, well, what language does South America well, speak? Well, that's the confirmed... South America speaks a lot of languages, majority wait, being wait, Spanish, wait. English. Uh, uh, I don't know if Argentinian... Uh, 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 yeah, it's Argentinian uh, uh, Spanish. And also... And then uh, all the indigenous languages of the indigenous uh, people. Do those, and, and Japanese. Do, do those and Portuguese. People, do, do, do those people um, talk like... The people are North America. Like what? to each other or like English? English. Some speak English, but most uh, speak Spanish. Well, that's at least the confirmed bear sightings from 2000 to 2020. 20. Yeah, 2020. I don't know why I was about to say 2022. Because yeah. it's a lot of twos. Okay, now where, where does bears live? The South west of Texas. Is the southwest in Texas? Yes. Hip hip hooray! What are you hip hip hooraying for? Because, because bears are in Texas. Oh, okay. Hip hip hooray. One day we could see a bear. And bears are and bears are so cool. That's why I said hip hip hooray. Oh, okay. And I'm pretty sure bears eat blackberries. Back to the podcast. What was that? I I have been into biome because I always had no biome. So you've been in two biomes? Yes. But which are the two? Um swamp biome and snow biome. And that's the only two biomes that you've been in? Yes. Oh, and also, I'm currently playing on a Minecraft server that I made, and I've gone pretty far along. I've got iron. I have a pet in the game, and it deter. I got one of the cats in the game because they deter away the creepers. I found them in a witch's hut that usually spawns in swamps because it's like a mix of spruce, um, oak, and like a little bit of swamp in the area that I've explored so far, so it's just a biome buffet. Biome buffet. Interesting. Biome. Buffet biome. The biggest buffet in the world. The witch buffet. Mommy. Yeah. Did you see me grab a Kegasaurus? No. Okay, well, I grabbed it. Okay. And I'm going to make it kick because it's called a Kegasaurus. Okay. And it's very, very, very middle. And there's rings in its mouth, so it's going to go. What'd you say? And that day I could have hit the polar bear and then ran into the forest and then the polar bear was in there and then it turned into a grizzly bear. A polar bear can turn into a grizzly bear? No. I think it can. So what are you saying right now? Yeah. You hit a polar bear and it turned into a grizzly bear? No. So what happened? Tell me the story. I could have hit the polar bear and then went into the forest. Okay. So the polar bear should follow me and then it turns into a bear. Okay. But that doesn't happen in Minecraft. What's this white tree? I did not know that. Let's 
like going in a bubble in the ocean. How you go in a bubble? Find the ocean. So you find the ocean and you just go in a bubble? Yeah. Does the bubble just appear on the screen? No. So how do you get the no. bubble? The bubbles are the air meter, and when all the bubbles run, start to run out, you need to go to the surface, otherwise your character will start drowning. I'm not talking about that, I'm a bonus bubble that gets you... I don't know what you're talking about, Ollie. Why well, have got a bonus um, bubble? Like you sit in a bubble, like a ball of air? Okay. Minecraft creative mode. I have put the ender dragon's egg in a chest to keep it safe. Okay. From the people that defeated the ender dragon. Okay. And you were successful at keeping it safe? Yes. Congratulations. And the ender dragon, the ender dragon, the ender dragon was staying behind to sacrifice the ender dragon. This is um, ratfish, I'm pretty sure. Ratfish? Yeah. Silverfish. Oh, yeah. Silver so watch fish. out for silverfish in the basement. Some of the wall blocks are actually monster eggs. So monster. we're reading about Minecraft, and we're looking Daddy. into Look the naturally that. generated structures. Daddy. And one of them is the igloo. The igloo is on the surface, and then it has this really long pathway down. How do you get down this pathway? I don't know. And then you get down to the basement. I don't really know about Minecraft. I don't know a lot about Minecraft. That's why we read in the book. And then when you get, when you go down the long chute to get to the basement, you have to watch out for those silver fish. Some mm. of the wall blocks are actually monster eggs. So wait. Are they telling me that if I'm in the basement of an igloo, the wall is eggs that can hatch into monsters while you're down there? No. I'm never gonna sleep again. Why? Because I know what I read, and I know you're telling me no, but I know what I read. It's not going so I don't believe you. It's not going to be in your dreams. Have you, have you found an igloo yet? No! Have you found an igloo yet? No. Okay, I'm so not how would you know? I'm looking for that. I'm trying to get tools. Not die every two seconds. <laughs> so then there's the ocean monument. Did you find an ocean monument no. yet? No. This looks like a real uh, monument. Yeah. No, we haven't it's seen. not just about finding things. What is it about? Getting we, to the end? No, it's about whatever you want it to be. Okay. It's not just all about it. Finding and stuff. Okay. Wait, mommy. Yeah. What is this place? This is a stronghold. How do you get It can there? be found in any biome. And like how every you get there, I don't biome? know. Yeah, every, any biome has a stronghold. Oh. So it could be desert, it could be forest, it could be island, it could be ice plains. Okay, so it has to be like at the edge of the map. It could be savanna. So it has to be at the edge of, edge of the map. No, not just the edge of the map. They're just showing you that it can be found anywhere. But what's this? That's what? the word found. F-O-U-N-D. Found. See, like over here, they're telling you it can't be found anywhere. The NPC village can only be found in the plains, the savanna, the taiga, taiga, and wait, the wait. desert. Mommy... Do villagers with wooden house have these portals? There's no portal. No, that's the ender portal. Yeah, but this isn't, you don't get here by ender portal. You get here by walking or flying or spawning. And this is a zombie villager. Yes, that's the green guy with the hands out. And it's a golem here. I know that's an iron golem. Iron golem. He's like white with like vines on him. And also you get vines and iron from them. Mm, okay. okay. Now this is one that I'm really interested in here. The Woodland Mansion. I've never seen a structure so big in Minecraft before. I think that 
out where pillagers are. Well, there's the Vindicator, the Evoker, and the Vex can be found there. What about any mob? Uh, I don't know. Let's read and find out. So the woodlands are a rare site in roofed forest biomes built from wood and cobblestone. The woodland mansions are a rare site of roofed forest biomes built from wood and cobblestone. They have several floors, many rooms, and offer an abundance of useful resources. Sound too good to be true? Unfortunately, no, we haven't been there. They're also home to some of Rhymecarf's no, most dangerous been mobs. There. No, we haven't been there. No, we haven't been there. No, but you're, to answer your question, if mobs are here, yes. The mansions are home to the most dangerous Minecraft mobs. What? Pillagers? Vindicators? Evokers? Vex? In addition to... What is this? Evoker, in addition to what is it? Vindicator, what is it? Vex. But well, where's the pillager? It has like a pillager head. Well, let's read and find out. In addition to the usual hostile mobs, Vindicator, Evoker, and Vex mobs spawn inside the mansion. These boss-like mobs are highly dangerous, and only skilled players should attempt to take them on. See page 64 and 65. So, it's the illager. Is that what you were talking about? The illager? No, it's not illager, it's a pillager. Well, I'm reading the words and there's no P. It's I-L-L-A-G-E-R, illager. Well, that's not how a pillager is spelled. No, because a pillager would have a P in the word. So let's look and see if we find pillager. There's a creeper. These are the hostile mobs. So you want to skip ahead to the hostile no. mobs? No. Okay. We have to keep going. Okay. So you may find several farming areas on the ground floor, including a tree farm, a mushroom farm, and a pumpkin and melon patches. So you see, to find it, you have to go to the roof forest. It's only found in a roof forest. Did you know woodland explorer maps are handy items that help you track down woodland mansions? See page 47 to learn how to get your hands on one. Ooh, do you want to peek ahead? To no. See how to get your hands on a map? No. But that's what the map looks like. Okay, going back. Several rooms have more homey feels. Dining rooms contain tables, flower pots, bookshelves, and you might find many bedrooms too, so there's a place for you to sleep. Regain your energy. Did you know the most dedicated explorers are likely to find secret areas inside of mansions? Some of which contain valuable loot. You want some loot? Mm. Mm. Yes. Among I more sinister mean. structures, you might find wait the altar style constructs. Mommy, wait a minute. I got only um, loot and doors. This is indoors. It's not doors. What do you it's, mean? It's not Roblox doors. What are you talking about Roblox for? This is Minecraft. We talking about Minecraft I here. I need loot in Roblox doors. Oh. Okay, well, think about Minecraft, not Roblox. So among the more sinister structures you might find are altar-style constructs, strange platforms, and prison cells. There might also be a map room, which suggests the Vindicators and Evokers are plotting something. Dun, dun, dun. They're plotting something. <laughs> so now the mobs. It has words. What? Now we're moving on to the mobs. Okay. Passive mobs. We have chicken. That we have bats. I didn't know there was bats. Me too. I didn't know there's bats. 
Now we know there's bats. Minecraft there's, tortoise. There's pig. Which has... And it drops when defeated. What are these things? Meat. Meat. Um, something to write something. And mucus. Mucus? That's what that is? No. Slime? I don't know. There's no words on it. So I don't know what those things are. Yeah. Bats don't drop anything. Not even guano. That's bat poop. Bat poop? Yeah. Yeah, bats do nothing. They're just there for aesthetic, I guess. So what's this green dot thing? I don't know. Slime? Slime? Miss Anna Maria, what's this green dot? <laughs> That's XP. XP? Yes. Okay. Um, it levels you up in the game so you can change. chant your deal. And also, look, I was sitting here. And we were sitting there. Okay, so they drop XP. So now this is the ocelot, which can be found in the jungle. Ocelot. Ocelot. They come in black and gold. There's the rabbit. Rabbit, rabbit. They only, they only drop XP. Yeah, they only drop XP. But the rabbit gives you more stuff. Looks like you get rabbit hide. Is this <laughs> meat or hearts? You get some pink blobby thing, a red blobby thing, a brown blobby thing, and a rabbit pelt. This is not a green... This is not a green, green blobby thing. No, this green thing is XP. I don't know what the other drops are because they don't have no words to explain it. You get squids. Squids is another mob. It has they move through the water with tentacles. If attacked, they will swim away. And they suffocate if they're not in water. And they do this to get away. And they drop XP. Mm -hmm. Then there's the horse. But you can ride horses, right? Yeah, yeah, you can ride horses. But you need to get a saddle, which only spawns in desert temples for some reason, which is so annoying because you should be able to craft it. You can see I'm infuriated. I can see, yes. I'm sorry. Then there's the cow and the mushroom. Wait, mushroom is a mob? A mushroom. Yeah, I a have mushroom. seen. A mushroom. Excuse me. I have seen a mushroom cow. And also last time a villager was with these, these are with two of these llamas and they went into an accident. The two llamas fell. Mm. Wow. Just boops, they fall down boops. Yes. Okay, so next we have we already talked about the villagers. Apparently they they're a mob, they're a passive mob. But as they, well. They don't attack you. No, that's why they're passive. Passive means that they don't attack. But they're a mob. Yeah, it just means groups. Then there's the neutral mobs. Unfortunately, not all mobs are passive sources of food. A handful of mobs are classified as neutral, which means their behavior varies, and they can become hostile under certain circumstances. Keep an eye out for them. They what? drop some useful items that will aid their progress in different ways. Wait, there's XP on that land? Yeah. And there's... Three? Not from the land, from the wolf. There, and there's TNT from the wolf? Mm -hmm. No, no, there? that's how to defeat. So you could use a sword, a crossbow. What's this? I don't know. What's this? Lava. Lava. TNT. What's T this? Um. What's the green block? Cactus. A, s a, 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 a slime. That's slime? No, it's, it's a cactus. It it's a cactus. Oh. It's a cactus. That, that's a cactus. And what's that? I don't know. It, it looks like a cliff. I think they mean like... Oh, they fall off cliffs, they can die or something. Oh, uh, okay. Mom, mom. Mom, mom. Mommy. Yeah? I know there's three. 
ice places. Yeah, there's the ice spikes, ice mountain, and the ice plains. No, oh, this is the ice biome. Yeah, they're all the ice biome, but then there's different landscapes within the biome, which is the mountains, the plains, and the spikes. Why, why can you put? Look at Enderman. Wait, wait. That's an Enderman. Wait, do you have to put on a mask on your face? And when you look at Endermans with this on you, I think they don't attack you. Yeah. Endermen are not hostile towards players unless provoked by attack or by a player looking directly at their head. Once provoked, they will shake and scream, then launch themselves at you. <sighs> you to attack. Me. Endermen will also attack Endermites. On what, site. What's endermites? I don't know. You tell me. I'm learning here. I don't know what endermites are. Mm. I mean, what's endermites? They're things that can spawn if you use the ender pearl. They have a chance of spawning when you use an ender pearl. Ender portal. No, pearl. Ender pearl. Yes. Okay. Sorry. I'm not hearing you clearly. And Ivy, what's this pumpkin head for? You can use it to scare no. You can use it to scare the Enderman. No, let me leave my book please. Okay, okay. We're gonna leave Miss Anna Maria alone. Okay. Miss Anna Maria have their own book to read. Okay, spider. Spiders are hostile to players and iron golems are um and iron golems if the light level is 11 or lower. If the light level is higher, they won't attack unless provoked. Once hostile, they will continue to pursue you even if the light level decreases. So don't let them get their eyes on you because they'll be after you. They'll crawl all over you. What's this? That's the spider cave, cave spider, excuse me. So they have, you have the regular spider and you have the cave spider. And they which spawn is, in abandoned mine shafts. Which is tiny and slime. So cool. That is cool. I like all of the slimes. Endermen teleport to avoid danger. They drop ender pearls, which, when thrown, will teleport you. They can also pick up and place certain I, blocks. Ma, ma, mommy, also, did you know endermen can pick up blocks? I already know that. Yeah, I just read that. Yeah, I just read that. Attack method. Endermen will teleport to you and hit you, inflicting damage. Jay, look at you. Mommy. Yeah, go ahead. Look at me so I can attack. What you looking at my head for? I need to put a mask on. Now can I look at you? I don't know because I can't see you looking at me. Now to the hostile mobs. <laughs> what does hostile mean? I don't know. Hostile mobs can Hello, make your Ask life... Ivy. Hostile mobs can make your life incredibly difficult and can easily send you back to the respawn screen. Ooh. They can be particularly I dangerous if you encounter them I in a do. small space or whilst mining underground. Uh, but uh, like uh, neutral uh, mobs, uh, they uh, drop uh, some uh, useful uh, items if you can manage uh, to uh, defeat uh, them. Uh, Are you kidding me? This much stuff from them, from this? From the zombie. From the zombie? The zombie variants. This is the zombie villager. This is the husk. This is the baby zombie. They got baby zombies? Yeah. Yes. Oh. No, not all. They just chase after you. They I, just chase after you. And, so fast and, to and they you. ride on and chickens. So like them. And they, they ride, ride on, on chickens. chickens. Don't you have a book to read? <laughs> I guess we gotta talk lower, because yeah. we keep we keep drawing Miss Animalia in. Yeah. So they spawn in any biome. Behavior. Zombies spawn in groups of four at light levels of seven or less. Is light level like the daytime and nighttime? That's Is that what I light mean. level means? You wanna get in trouble, don't you? Hi. Oh wait, look, here's the thing, here's the key for the things that they drop. So let's go, light level indicates the light level at which a mob spawns. In this example, the light level spawns at level nine or higher. We lost 
Gato. So this green dot here is experience points. Um, some of them drop saddles, rabbit meat, roast chicken. Why does the rabbit drop more? Oh no, cooked rabbit. Okay, that looked almost like the roast chicken. <laughs> Mommy, we lost it. Here's the other block that we were looking for. We lost it though. We didn't lose anything. I was just trying to get the names for the for how to defeat and the items that they drop so that we're not in the dark when it comes to understanding what these things give and take. Do you understand me? So at light levels, uh, Mommy. seven or less, the zombies spawn. Mommy, I can't, I can't believe there's nothing to chill your arm on. To chill, oh, you mean an armrest? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. If that's what you want, you have to get another chair. Anyway, back to the zombie behavior. So, some zombies spawn wearing armor, which they may then drop upon death. They can't spawn on transparent blocks like glass. They shamble around slowly with their arms outstretched, making a moan noise. They catch fire in the sun, so we'll um, try to seek Every shade when the sun rises in the morning. Fire. Every mob catches fire. All of them? That attacks you, but not polar bears. Mm. Do you want to know anything else about zombies, or do you want to move on to creepers? Let's just turn the page. What's this? Cheapers, creepers, creepers, rich get those peepers. Mommy? Yeah? I really hope Minecraft has something where a creeper drops TNT and a lighter. A because lighter? they're a creeper. Let's see what this is. This item here is force it over a drop or at least 24 blocks. That's how you uh, defeat them. You force over 24 blocks. Lava, TNT, and Forset Cactus. Why do you need a record to defeat them? No, they drop records. Wait, let's see if that's even a record. It looks like a record. Yeah, it what is. What is it actually called, though? A record. Music disc. What do you use a music disc in Minecraft for? Does Minecraft play, play music? music? To listen to music. I can't remember ever hearing anything in Minecraft. When I That's played. because you didn't have the music off. You didn't have the background music on in your settings. And also, the music disc lets you play select music. It also has just 11 and 13. Uh, those ones are creepy. Oh, uh, Mommy? Okay. Yeah? You said if we would ask Ivy another question, what is that? We would get in trouble. We didn't ask Miss Animalia any questions. Miss Animalia started talking to us. Oh! We didn't ask them no questions. So, behavior of creepers. Creepers move around almost silently, searching for players to target. They have a TNT core that detonates when they are close enough to a player. And now, so, so this is not a pressure plate situation. And, and now, this is a proximity. And also, when creepers blow up, they die because they blow up. Yeah, but uh, so does the player. So everybody goes. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Special skills. Creepers are immune to burning in sunlight and continue to creep around in search of players after the sun has risen. They also have the ability to climb up ladders and vines and can do so when pursuing their targets. Attack methods. When they are within three blocks of a player, creepers will hiss and flash before exploding. Once they begin to hiss, you have 1.5 seconds to get out of the, block radi the blast radius, or seven blocks away. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that when I set up my house, I'm gonna have like countable blocks so I know how far away to get away safety. 
go to a village it's with a bunch of fish, befriend all the cats, and then get them to sit down in front of your house. All the creepers would be like, nope, 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 and run away. Simple as that. Go to a village with fish. Yes, and then try to befriend every single cat in the village. Befriend the cats. Take them back to your home, and then can sit them down on near all the walls of your house, and your house should be protected from creepers. And I suggest taking one and with you when you go exploring to protect you from any creepers. Okay, thank you for that hack. And mommy, you heard what it here is first. that? Go befriend the cats. What is that? This is a charged creeper. Is it real? Yes, yeah, real. I think it's a charged creeper real. Yes. Ooh! Boom. I almost got in trouble. And mommy, I have seen a skeleton horse. I have found it that in Minecraft Creative. Oh, congratulations. So you have the skeleton and you have the skeleton horseman. Behavior. Skeletons rattle as they move around, searching for players to attack. They seek out shade at sunrise and avoid burning. Mommy, it, lo it looks like this is glowing. It looks like it's moving, like in the game. Mm, that's their armor. Skeleton horsemen move very fast and circle their opponent in the same way a skeleton does. If you kill a skeleton horseman, the horse will become tame and you can saddle and ride it. Well, what happens if you kill the horse and not the horseman? Uh, then I guess the horse will drop everything that horses drop. I don't know. A bone, arrow, XP. Now we have the guardian and the elder guardian. That's, a, that's what I wanted you to look up. Elder guardian. Mm -hmm. Real life elder guardian. Mm -hmm. Those don't exist in real life, Ollie. That's why I wanted to look, wait, tell you to look up. Elder Guardian. So guardians exist to protect the treasure in the Osher monuments. They patrol the monuments, attacking players and squid on sight. While the Elder Guardian, if uh, you'll find three Elder Guardians in each ocean monument, one in the top room, one in each wing, guarding the monument treasure. They will attack players and squid on sight. Why squid? Mm. Mm. Because it's another useless mob. Maybe. These elephants are cool. And pandas. Elder guardians have the same laser attack and defense spikes as guardians, but can also inflict mining fatigue three for five minutes. And Which then means you can't mine. And when you're trying to mine, it's just like me. And then nothing happens. Mm. It's like... You have mining fatigue? It's like metal. Mm. And you can't break the table. Mm. Yeah, it basically turns everything to bedrock. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That's good to know. What Silverfish. Is, what is this? I don't know. That's an endermite. Okay, now I know what endermite is. I have seen the endermite. I have found it an endermite. Mm -hmm. So, silverfish, when spawning directly from monster spawners in strongholds, idle silverfish live in monster egg blocks and emerge when a player mines the block. So, player beware. When you hit a block, it could be a silverfish monster. And this is a hostile mob. What does it do just to you? Annoying, to be honest, what is just it annoying. Do to yeah, you? they oh. only do like one heart. So unless you're on like a half a heart, they're not that big of a deal. Oh, so don't be scared. Yeah, you can just punch them once with like a wooden sword, and you'll be fine. Okay, because I was super terrified. Super what if terrified. I would see that in creative mode? And if I would not hit it with a wooden sword and it would attack me, I would hit it with a wooden sword. Mm. Okay, now let's talk about these endermites. Endermites are the smallest mob. They occasionally spawn when an ender per
pearl is thrown. They scuttle about, leaving a trail of purple particles behind them and attack players within 16 blocks. Ooh, that's far. Is it 16 square blocks? Like, here's one block, two block, three block, four block, five block, like, five. just Or is it 16 Minecraft. blocks away? Like 16 blocks. That's like a lot. Minecraft blocks. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Oh my gosh. So they come after you from far away. When not attacking players, sometimes um, they burrow into the blocks. So be careful once again, because endermites can come after you. Then there's the and witch. Mommy, I'm not going to like this, Mom, am I? Mommy. Because they made the witch the bad guy. Mommy. I don't like that. Uh, mommy. Yeah. When you hit, when you defeat one big blob, it turns into another one, into a lot of another one. And then when you hit it again, it turns into a tinier one. And then when you hit it again, it turns into a slime you can, can collect. Mm. So this is slime and this is XP. Okay. So slime is the circle with the white dot. XP is the circle with the dark ring around it. Yes. Okay. That glows in the beginning, but they can't really demonstrate that in the book because it's a book, not a video. Mm hmm so slime comes in three sizes, big, small, and tiny. They bounce around, searching for players to attack, and are also hostile towards iron golems. You gotta blow these guys up, or push them. Why? Or force cactus on them. Why? Or, or throw them in lava. Throw Why? them in lava. Or with a bow. Or no. slice them with a sword. I wanna defeat these blobs, they're so cute. Okay, well they will cute. defeat you. What they're cute. You don't want to defeat them, but they will defeat you. Mm -hmm. But well, they take one to sixteen hearts. Well, I you would want only, them to take sixteen well, of your I hearts. I would only do that in creative mode, so they will not attack me. Okay. So then there's the illager, which is a hostile variant of regular villagers. <laughs> villager. They look similar to villagers, but are dressed in dark robes. And their skin has an unhealthy and, gray and, hue to it. And they're similar to pillagers. Dude, there is no pillagers in Minecraft. Just the illagers. There are pillagers in Minecraft. So where's the pillagers? I don't know. They're illagers. Not okay, that's just not in the Okay, section. you know what? We're not going to fight about this because this book is from like so, so, so long ago. Like pre-New World in... 2017. You wasn't even oh alive. Oh my god! You wasn't even alive in 2017. Why? So we're not gonna I just, argue. Because this, 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 Mommy, this is I an just, old this. this Mommy, I just found the page you this, use that. This is an old textbook. <laughs> Mommy, look, look. Look. Look this. And then. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Almost there. Almost there. Okay, back to the. So we already talked about the illager who has the the unhealthy gray hue skin. They are two variants: the vindicator and the evoker, and they can be found in the woodland mansions. <laughs> These are very hostile towards regular villagers. The vexes are summoned by evokers armed with swords. They fly nearest to player and regular villager attacks. Okay, so I just had my double venti matcha latte break. And now we get on to chapter three of the Minecrafts. Okay, so what is chapter three? You got, you got the books survival. Mommy, 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 we need to buy this book because it helps us craft, craft stuff. This doesn't help you craft stuff. This explains everything in Minecraft. Well, I need to learn how to craft. Then we have another book. I'm wondering if that book is like more advanced than this book. Like, I should say more recent. Miss Anna Amelia, where's the other Minecraft no, book? No, that's Anna. I put it in the uh, bookstore. What is that? 
Oh, no. So we can't check to see if it's a newer book anymore. Owie, owie, owie. It wouldn't have any new information. It would just be like, because it was just about all about Minecraft and zombies. Hey, this is more information. So there's Minecraft Creative, Minecraft Exploration, Minecraft The Nether and the End, Minecraft Redstone, and we're reading uh, Minecraft Exploration. So that is... That's all the books so that, that they have. So that is this. So that is this. So that is this. So that is this. And ta-da! Survival. Now that you're Survival. familiar with Minecraft landscape and its mobs, it's time to start your first game. In this section, you'll learn how to find food, materials to keep yourself safe, You'll discover how to build a shelter, a farm, how to mine for materials, how to defend yourself in combat as you explore. Do -do 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 Your first day. Day one, mark your spawn point with a dirt pillar and or note the coordinates. Oh, snap! Oh, snap! I never thought about that, having a big old, big old, big old, big old pillar. I don't really do that to where I first <clears throat> spawn. I don't understand the point of that. So you can always look up and find where home is. Yeah, but if you haven't built a home or built a bed, then what's the point? Because you know that's where you want to build your home. Okay, then why put it right where you spawn? What if you don't want to spawn there? No, when you get to a place that you want to spawn. I usually make the dirt pillars or like a place of interest, like a nether, like a ruined nether portal or a village. Okay, well how do you get the block so high? You will find a place to dig, you will dig, and then you will jump and place all the blocks and jump down. Oh, okay. Then two, find some trees and hit them with your hands to collect 20 wood blocks. I did that. I did that. We need to buy a book. We need to buy this book so, so it can help us. Okay. Does that mean you're going to learn how to read it so it can help you? No. I need to learn how to craft. Okay. Because I don't know how to craft anymore. Okay. Well, first it starts by collecting 20 wood blocks. 20,000? No. 20. Two zero. Not 20,000, just 20. Then drag the wood onto your crafting grid and turn it into wood planks. After you turn it into wood planks, then you're gonna make a crafting table from four wood planks and place it on the ground. After that, interact with your crafting table, craft sticks from wood planks. Then use your sticks and planks to craft wood pickaxe, axe, sword, and shovel. And so on and so on until all of your uh until you keep going and you start mining with your pickaxe and then you can get stone and when you get stone then you can get stone tools and after you get stone tools then you can gather 20 blocks of wood much faster and then you can go after some livestock some chicken some pigs some cow and get yourself some food so it was saying here, before man can eat, he must build himself tools. And once he's built himself tools, then he can go and hunt for food. Like Minecraft Steve, he, um... Minecraft Steve? Who's Steve? He's the starter character. Oh, okay. I'm the main character. Mm-hmm. I thought you are the main character. I'm not the main character. You are the main character because you play as Steve, or you can just change your skin to not be Steve if uh, you don't want to be Steve or Alex. Uh <coughs> That makes sense. That's just, that's because Steve and Alex is boring. Mm. So then after I might become Steve and Alex. After you get food, then you need to get three sheep. When you get three sheep, you have enough materials to make a bed. Then you can craft a furnace. Why didn't I craft a furnace? Which allows you to cook your food. And after you cook your food, you can go back to the hills 
and find a spot to get some more blocks. Mm. And then you're going to get coal. You want to look for coal mm -hmm. so that you can light the furnace. Look at how infinite um, play, fire. Hmm? Does it have infinite fire? No, it does not have infinite fire. So it looks like after you use it one time, you might need to go find more coal for it. Like you get you get one free trial of coal. What? And then you gotta find your own. So expand the hole in the L-shaped shelter so you can hide uh, around the corner. <laughs> then when you get enough wood, you can make yourself what? some doors. Then you can light up your hole using torches to prevent hostile wow. mobs from spawning. And that is how you get started in 21 steps. What? 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 Mommy, look, look. What? 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 What's your teeth? What? On your second day now, you got to get to work because you need to get a chest, a ladder, a boat, a trap door, a what bowl. Is... You need to get iron ore. You need to get iron uh -huh, tools, uh -huh. iron doors. What is this? Flint and steel. What is this? A on your second day. What? It says a shulking box, even though you're not going to be able to get that on your second day in Minecraft. What is you this? Gotta be effective. What is this? Pick up your chest no, and it's kind no, of... I don't this? know. I'm trying to read. It's a shulker box. A shulker box. Is that a shulker on mom? No. You're thinking about is the Endermite. No, chokers are a mob. Oh. Oh. I didn't, I didn't read about them in because the mob section. Because it came from an egg. They have room to put it there, I guess. Okay. They, they have as much room as they want to put in their own book. I know, but they decided not to. Okay. Well, you also need to get a bucket and some shears. Okay, so, so your second day, you're spending it really, really focused on filling up your inventory, okay? With wooden stuff and iron ore stuff, okay? So you should be mining and crafting, mining and crafting, mining, mining and, crafting. and crafting. Then you want to get your health up. That means you got to get your food up. Now, I've never eaten in Minecraft, but okay. apparently... You got to, like, eat. And okay. you want to keep your health points okay. up because okay. this is the wheel of what could kill you. So, fire can kill you. What's this? Suffocating. The lava can kill you. This can kill you. Cactus, Cactus contact. Can... What's this? Drowning. Drowning can kill you. Being Dang. shot by an arrow. I already know what it is. Dang, twist can kill you. Falling Dang. into the void. Filling you up can kill you. The TNT is blowing up. If you fall, you can get killed. If you eat something. This is not eating, that's starving. If you eat something, that's... No, if you don't no eat. it's not eating. Not eating can kill you. Then what is this? Starving. That's the symbol for starving. But it looks burnt. Yeah, because you can't eat it. No, you can't burn food in Minecraft. Okay, well this dark spot here means that's... the void of food. No, that is the symbol for your hunger bar not being full all the way. Oh, okay. Sorry we're not as smart as you in Minecraft. Mm -hmm. But thanks for bothering to teach us. Miss Anna Million is looking at us like we're a bunch of dummies because we don't know this. So things to eat. You can eat meat. You can eat fish. Ooh, so you go out on your boat and you go fishing. You have to have a fishing rod and fishing line. So you need a rod and line to, to make a fishing rod to get fish. Remember, you want to go to the fishing village and make friends with all the cats and bring them home to your house to protect you from creepers. Then there's fruits and vegetables. Ooh, we love fruits and vegetables, don't we? No, we don't. You don't like fruits and vegetables? 
No, I don't like it a lot, but I like peas and corn and rice. Okay, you I mean, just, fried rice and that. You literally just described fruits and vegetables. Fruit like, and vegetables. two vegetables and a fruit you just mentioned. Rice I is a fruit. Rice is a grain, vegetable -ish. It's a grain. Grain. Grain is not fruit. But corn is fruit. No, it's not. It's a vegetable. It's not a vegetable. It has seeds. Corn is a vegetable. Corn is seeds. It's a fruit. Fine. Corn is a grain. A really, really big grain. It's a vegetable. It's a fruit. It has seeds. If you take corn kernels and drop it in the ground, you're going to get corn because it's seeds. So technically, peas are not vegetables because peas are the seeds in the pod of the fruit that you drop in the ground and get more peas from. Peas are vegetables. Vegetables are like roots and greens and stuff that don't have seeds necessarily coming out of the part that you eat, like a potato. Where's the seed? Vegetables. <laughs> Where's the seed for carrots? <laughs> it's not in the carrot. <laughs> I am so confused. This is the battle. Wait a minute. Of the person who has a school degree and the person who teaches themselves and know more than me. What? Ra 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 ra. Baked goods. So you what gotta about, get grain. What about this? And sugar cane what, to make mommy, sugar. What, mommy, what? They put sugar in their bread. You have sugar bread. Mommy, what happened? Oh, mommy, mommy, what happened? Sis, this on. happens what, what? to you. Pointing it said sugar bread. It says here, baked goods, grain for bread, sugar. This is bread no, recipe. No, this sugar is to recipe. make sugar. And then there's pumpkin pie. Ooh, I want some pumpkin pie. Mm -hmm. I didn't have no pumpkin pie this year. Or last year. Then eat some you pumpkin pie, pie in your. No, I did not. Yes, you did. No, that must have been sweet potato, and it was not very good. There was no sweet potato. It was pumpkin. It was not pumpkin. I know I'm cookie like recipe and I'm cake recipe. Pie mommy, Setting mommy. Setting up your own farm so you can breed your animals. Mommy. This is your 4-H part. Mommy, what happens if this happens to you? I'm yum, 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 yum. I'm just going to be very silently annoyed. Foods for breeding. Rabbit, horse, cat, mushroom. You can eat cats. Llamas, pigs, sheep, cow, tame I think wolves, that was and chicken. A typo. I didn't think. I don't think they meant to put cats. It Just says raw food, cats. raw salmon, clownfish, and pufferfish. Don't eat the pufferfish. It looks like you have a don't pond. Eat the is the pond on your farm for you to go fishing, or is it for the animals to have water? You don't need it, but it, it looks nice. Oh, you could have a sugarcane farm. Yes. You can have uh, carrots, potatoes, beetroot, wheat, vegetable farm. Um, you can collect it from destroying grass. I did that. There's mycelium. There's uh, mushrooms. So that's to help your, your stuff grow. Mushrooms only grow in areas where the level of light is 12 or lower. Unless planted on mycelium or podzol, which is a type of dirt found exclusively in taiga biomes. Once planted, the mushroom will spread to nearby blocks that meet their light requirement, as long as there aren't more than four mushrooms of that type in a nine by nine area. Can you buy this book? Yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. And mommy, yeah. where's the books in the house we haven't returned? No, we returned all our books. The books in our house are books that we own. Oh. Oh. So people take those books, right? No. Then the people that have the books at the library own the books. Yeah, the library owns the books. So okay. if we own our books, then people can get it. 
Yeah, sure. No, wait, what? No. Oh my God, my brain. If we own our books, no one can get our books because that would mean that they have to come in our house and steal. So books in our house are ours and exclusively ours. Books in the library are opened to the public so that everyone can have access. So you can never have a reason to be ignorant in life because we have free resources called the library for people to educate really themselves. They're making them be really mad. So after you set up your farm for your animals and for your gardening, you then go mining. Guardians of the galaxy. So Guardians you have to prepare your inventory the for when you're mining. You never want to straight dig straight down. What you want to do is dig in like a zigzag, okay? Because you're gonna run into areas of lava. You're gonna run into areas of water. And that, and you're going to fall into bedrock. Yeah. So you you want to make sure that like you dig below sea level. You want to dig in zigzags. And then when you get down to like 49, you're gonna have some iron ore, <laughs> okay? And then once you get to 48 to 33, that's where you find some coal ore. So you gotta dig pretty deep to get to coal. This is very helpful. You can literally just find it like pretty close to the surface if you just go to a cliff, you can pretty much find it. So if you're close to a cliff, then that's not really on the surface because the cliff is going to be like more of exposed earth area. So you cannot dig down and just go to a cliff as a cheat to get to levels 48 and to 43. No, that's just not what I'm saying. Like, coal spawns pretty much wherever. Okay. Like, you can find it on pretty much where, wherever. Mm-hmm. And it takes you really don't have to go that deep. I don't know why it's telling you to go that deep. Mm -hmm. Because it's that deep too. Again, this book was written before you were born. So, it could be wrong. Remember, all the books that I read when I was a kid, they were 40 years old by the time I read them. That's why I seem stupid to you. Because uh, I read old books with false information. <laughs> Then there's lapis lazuli ore. Why would you need lapis lazuli this early? Yeah, no, oh, look. No. It's found Mommy, in the veins look. of one to Ivy, ten blocks. Ivy, what happens? At levels 31 Ivy, and under. Ivy, I, Ivy, I want to tell you what, I want to ask you a question. When mined with a strong Ivy, pickaxe Ivy, or better. What happens if you get... Each block drops four to eight pieces yum, yum, of lapis yum, lazuli. Yum, yum. In Minecraft. Lapis lazuli yum. can be used in enchanting and, your gets and off. as a dye. You can find emerald down there also. Mommy, I, I have like a emerald. question. So you can go ma, lapis ma, lazuli, ma, 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 redstone ma, ore. Mommy. Never mind. You can find lapis lazuli ore, redstone ore, emerald ore, gold ore, diamond ore, obsidian ore, and then you hit da 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 bedrock, which bedrock. means you can't hit mine anymore unless you're using cheeks. So make sure when you're mining, you mine in a zigzag. But you can't But mine how do you know what number level you are? So the best way to, the best level at which to mine for ore is Y10 to Y15. Since all ores generate within this band, remember to check your coordinates as you descend. How do you check your coordinates? I want to know how to check my coordinates. But basically all the good mining happens under level 32. Okay, you can get iron and coal before then, or you can get coal anywhere from the experienced players, but the good stuff starts at level 32, and then the great stuff starts at level 16. Yeah, so you good?
Congratulations. You made it through the guide. Now you can go and get your armor up for combat. Upgrade your shelter so you have a wonderful, beautiful, sprawling, gated community of your own. And then you know how to navigate, especially because you got your spawn spire. So you know how to find your way home and enjoy the game. Dun, da, da, da. That's all of the book. We read this whole book together by myself. That's the finals. No, that's two here. And see this. And see this too. That's the combat. Okay. Now let's go back to read this. Oh, look now. I read it already. So you gotta get your combat, get your armor up for combat. Well, we need to buy this so we so we can remember how to craft. Okay. Because I don't know how to craft anymore. Well, stay in the know. You got four Minecraft books to help you get through. And that's it for Miss Anna Amelia's Research News. Bye-bye. So that brings us yeah, to the end. Yeah, I do of your life. Like and subscribe and share. Right now. Okay. On our podcast. Okay. okay. Right but now. On School Pages of Our Lives podcast, like and subscribe and share. To this to this podcast and um also that brings us to the end of this episode and don't hide under the bed don't I won't hide under the bed i hope that you enjoy i'll hide under the bed since the i shenanigans, said don't hide under the bed the disruptions the distractions the ad-libs the insights the intelligence <laughs> The uh, myths and the myth busting, the research, the frustrations, the yelling and screaming, the fun, my legs are getting eaten. the unschooling things. My legs are eaten. Send us your omelet order for wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. And achy. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. And we're asking you, our audience members, to send us your omelet order so you can be in the mix for wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. That's your stories, your comments, your questions, and tales of being an unschooler or homeschooler yourself. We want to hear from you and we want to get your voices on this podcast sharing your unschool pages of your lives. Yes, it's the cutest, just like you.